What's up YouTube, how are you all doing? Welcome to the latest video. I'm just gonna be giving you my top five tips on how to keep as much muscle as possible when moving into a cut. So stick around, enjoy the video, let's get into it. So before we get going, if you haven't already, hit that old subscribe button. We're close to the hitting the first 200 and we only hit 100 about five weeks ago, which is crazy. So thank you to everyone that supports the channel. Um, and if you haven't already, hit that old button. Moving straight into the video, as you all know, I'm coming now into a deficit. I'm, I won't still be in a deficit for a while. I'll still be in a surplus, slowly tapering thank, back then. I'll be slowly tapering things back down. But when you fully are in that deficit, sometimes it can be hard to hold on to as much muscle as possible. But obviously the goal is to always just remove fat. It's never to lose. People will come to me and say I want to lose weight. And at the end of the day, you're wanting to lose that little bit of fat, but you want to hold on to that muscle, which is why you've got to be thinking, when people compare their body compositions, they look at that body fat percentage and their muscle fat percentage. When you're transitioning to a cut, you want to keep this muscle fat percentage as high as possible. And then this fat percentage is the thing that drops. Numero uno on the old tips is just to make sure you get enough protein in. I think people's biggest fault is not eating enough protein. I think that is the most common sort of question and problem I get presented with with clients is I'm struggling with my protein. So you've just got to make sure you're getting in an adequate amount. I tend to stick to around one gram per pound of body weight. It's nice and simple, nice and easy. That is efficient enough. But obviously to increase that, it, it is gonna help, but not to eat too much, otherwise you're not really gonna be getting the benefit from it. Okay, moving on to number two, is to maintain your strength. A very easy way to see if you're losing muscle is when your strength starts decreasing. So for example, if you're currently doing a deadlift for 100 kg for say five reps, in six weeks time, you want to be able to still do that 100 kg deadlift for five reps. Whereas if things were then three on four, you're gonna be losing a little bit of strength. If that then does occur, you might need to change up your volume frequency, your training frequency, and just think about maybe having a bit more rest days um, and just allow your body to recover a bit more. Moving on to number three is to eat as much food as possible. And you might go, I'm cutting, but you literally, you want to be in the smallest possible deficit and you want to take things as slowly and slowly as you can. I've spoke about this pre in my last video, but if you go crazy on a deficit, when you start plateauing, there's no room to go. You've got to come back really, really, really nice and slowly. Um, and at the end of the day, it's, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. People say that a lot and it is true. You've just got to go at turtle speed. You've got to take it really nice and slow. You've got to find what calories work for you and literally have a really, really low deficit. Uh, no more than 500 calories below your maintenance, otherwise it's, you're just gonna be doing more the harm than good. You're not gonna actually have the energy to perform well in the gym, and that's just only gonna put a stint on your progression. Moving on to number four, is to not fall into the trap of cutting carbs. You see so much stuff at the moment in this industry of keto diets and high fat, high protein, zero carbs. And at the end of the day, you need carbs for energy. Your, it is your body's primary energy source is blood glucose, which you get from eating carbohydrates. So to eliminate that from your diet, it can have a really negative effect on then your performance in the gym and your, your, at the end of the day, your energy levels. So just make sure to eat as much carbs as you can and just don't be worried about eating too many carbs. It's only calories that matter. You, I've, I've told you all this. Just literally just care about your calories and your protein and just eat enough carbs. Don't be doing 12 grams of carbs a day. I don't wanna see that. Number five on the old tips is to either Bring in a refeed day or think about diet breaks, i.e. on a refeed day, you're gonna cut your protein and fats and just increase your carbs to make up your calories a lot through carbohydrates just to give you a spike in blood sugar and give you a boost of energy. That is ideal when you're really, you feel like you're quite deep into a deficit and you're, you're struggling with energy. A lot more beneficial to you to just throw in a refeed day or failing that, 
just to have a bit of a break from it. Even a bit, to be honest, for your like, for your mentality to stop tracking things on my fitness pal to stop caring so much and just have like a week of increase your calories a little bit just to give your body what it needs at the end of the day it's it's all about listening and taking note of what your body wants and is doing i.e if you feel like you're losing weight too fast i.e like you're going to be eating into your muscle you've then got to be taken into that into account and maybe increase your calories a little bit but on the flip side if you feel like your fat percentage isn't going down at all it might mean you need to reduce your calories a little bit if you're training if you're struggling if you're not getting enough recovery if like your body isn't recovering quick enough in your sessions listen to it just take care of yourself right i'm actually going to be making a 12 week cutting plan which is going to be everything so it's going to break down how you're going to work out calories and protein it's going to give you literally the whole template to do it all yourself it's then going to have a full 12 week training split training plan the works just so you can all fill it in so i will be getting that out sooner rather than later and then you're all going to be able to smash that 12 week on plan in time for summer but i hope you enjoyed this video it hasn't been a particularly long one which you might like because it's not just me chatting rubbish i'm gonna make it sweet i will catch you in the next one i'll see you very very soon alex out ooh, ooh, ooh.